Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I've got another review. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing this 2015 Corvette Stingray. All right, guys, so honestly, just starting off, I did just want to briefly say, and you're going to probably hear me say this multiple times throughout this video, that I just absolutely love these C7 Corvettes. So this uh, 2015 Corvette Stingray, actually, it's got the comfort of a modern car, which is amazing because you can daily this thing, and yet it still goes zero to 60 in an extremely impressive 3.9 seconds. And it actually has an electronically limited top speed of 186 miles per hour. So this specific Corvette Stingray is actually just the base model Stingray, but the owner has actually added a lot of different uh, Z06 accents, like carbon fiber Z06 ac accents. Basically he has carbon fiber um, Z06 side skirts on the sides and a pretty, like not too obnoxious carbon fiber Z06 wing on the back. I honestly think that the carbon fiber wing probably looks the best out of all the different accents that he added on the car because it just, Again, like I just said, it's kind of a medium-sized wing. It's not too big, but it, it does definitely stand out, and the carbon fiber absolutely glistens in the sun. It's awesome. So another little modification that this owner actually did do was he installed basically a uh, Cobra catback exhaust system. Now, this exhaust system does, I believe, delete a maybe just one muffler in it. I actually don't know how many mufflers or resonators come on this Corvette stock, but it does delete something and it just, it, it's not extremely loud, but it does sound a lot more aggressive and the tone is just absolutely amazing. So like I did say before, the C7s are my personal favorite Corvettes. I think they have the best styling out of all generations of Corvettes. Now I know some of you guys might definitely disagree with me. Some of you guys might like the, you know, more classic vets. Some of you guys like might like the C6s or some of you guys might like the um, new mid-engine C8s. But honestly, in my opinion, I just absolutely love these C7s. I did just want to mention some uh, factory dimensions. So this uh, 2015 Corvette Stingray actually comes factory with a length of 177 inches, a width of 74 inches, a height of 49 inches, and actually a curb weight just under 3,300 pounds, right at 3,298 pounds. So that being said, I do also believe that the C6 Z06 is one of the best performing naturally aspirated Corvettes ever, maybe, but honestly, I mean, my dream Corvette would be this generation and the Laguna Seca Blue. I'll actually put in a picture like right now of this car in a Laguna Seca Blue. And I, again, I just love the C7 styling and that specific paint color. It's like this brighter bluish, um, well, it's like, it's, it's a brighter, blue metallic color and i just absolutely love it on this uh generation body style 
So the driver focus technology in the C7 Corvette is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, this includes a five position drive mode selector that tailors 12 vehicle attributes to the driver's environments. Now these 12 vehicle attributes actually include the stiffness of the suspension, the steering effort, shift points, exhaust volume, electronical uh, differential settings, uh, st stability control, and traction control. All right guys, so this specific Corvette actually does have the Z51 performance package on it. So a part of that, you can kind of see the larger wheels. Now in the front, there's 19 inch wheels in the front and the 20 inch wheels in the back. Now underneath the wheels, you can see the, the bigger brake setup that does come with the Z51 package. You have slotted rotors from factory with the bigger calipers. And I mean, they just look amazing. I really personally like the yellow calipers my car actually i painted my calipers yellow um, i know a lot of people like the red calipers more but i think the black on black with the yellow calipers just looks amazing all right now we're going to be taking a look underneath the hood of this thing which is definitely where the fun begins with this car now underneath the hood we can see the 6.2 liter naturally aspirated lt1 aluminum block v8 engine which definitely it, it combines a lot of advanced technologies such as direct fuel injection active fuel management continuous var variable valve timing, and an advanced combustion system that definitely gives you a lot of power while also using a lot less fuel. And I'm gonna go to the miles per gallon numbers in a bit, and they are re really impressive. So before I get to those numbers, I did just kind of want to mention the power output of this engine from factory. Now, when the C7 Corvette, when it, first, when it was first introduced, it was actually the most powerful standard model Corvette ever with 455 brake horsepower and 460 foot-pounds of torque. Now, this is the 2015 model, and it actually has slightly increased power right at 460 brake horsepower and 465 foot-pounds of torque. Now, the C7 Corvette, when it first came out, was actually also the most capable standard model out of all Corvette generations as well. Now, the Corvette Stingray, when equipped with the available uh, Z51 performance package, which this car does have, it, it was actually capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds, braking from 60 to 0 in 107 feet, and sustaining 1.03 Gs in quartering. So pretty much the acceleration, uh, the acceleration, the cornering and braking capability of this specific uh, C7 Corvette that with, with the Z51 package, it was, it was actually, uh, it allowed it to hot lap the Virginia International Raceway's 4.2 mile grand course in just two minutes and 51.78 seconds. Now, in my opinion, probably the most impressive part about all these numbers is that this car is actually capable of that kind of performance, yet still amazingly averages up to 17 miles per gallon during city driving and 29 miles per gallon during highway driving for a combined average of 21 miles per gallon. Yes, 21 miles per gallon. You can still launch this thing from you know, 260 miles per hour in under four seconds. And it actually, considering its gearing ratios and if it didn't have governors on it, it's pretty much a 200 mile per hour car. Now, yeah, you can you know, get super technical about that stuff. And it is limited to 186 miles per hour with you know, the governors that are on it right now. But in my opinion, like you basically have a 200 mile per hour car that averages over 20 miles per gallon. All right guys, so I am gonna take this thing for a drive in a minute, but I did just wanna you know, show you guys the interior and I just absolutely love this interior. I love the interior for most Corvettes. I mean, people always talk about them like they're all of their, it doesn't matter what generation it is, most of the time in Corvettes, like everything's driver focused. It's kind of like the same with like the Mark IV Supra where you kind of have this center console that's just tilted towards the driver, which is just, it, it makes you feel like you're in a rocket ship. When you're sitting in this interior, it's just, it, I think it's just fantastic. And plus like uh, these seats, I, we, I did kind of sit in the passenger side before and they cup you in like really good. Now, yes, they look like they look the part, they look kind of like stylish and you know, luxurious and stuff like that, but they definitely, again, the, even not even the seats compromise the performance of the vehicle.
Alright guys, so now I'm driving this Corvette and I mean it just feels so good. And the, the exhaust sounds amazing as well. And it's really crazy too because I mean it still feels like a front engine rear wheel drive car. It still feels like a muscle car. But it handles like it, it's a sports car. I mean it handles amazing. One thing that also is really cool about this car is, I mean, the amount of attention that it gets. Like, I'm driving through a park right now, and I'd have to say, probably like eight out of ten people are just staring at me. And I'm not, I'm not even doing anything. Like, I'm just cruising, and it's just, it's one of those cars that, it's so iconic. Oh my God. Well, this is definitely by far the most fastest car that I've had on, on the channel. I mean. This one or my or my dad's Firebird, but this is a lot more refined and the gear ratios like it just keeps going. Now again, I'm not testing this out to even close to its full fullest potential. But still, I mean, you can just tell that this car just wants to go. Like I'm I'm trying to keep it low RPMs but as soon as you just give it a little bit of gas and it just, you're, you're looking for the brake. As soon as you get it, give it like half throttle, <laughs> it's, I, I'm blown away by this car. Now I know I've driven in a C6 before and I've driven in a C5 before. And this is my first time even in a C7, let alone driving one. And again, like I said, like this is probably my dream Corvette like I just I think this is probably the best generation that there is out now you know it's 2020 we've all seen the C8 Corvettes I mean practically every practically I didn't do that that was the rev match wow that's real that's really cool but anyway uh, like I was saying before that took me by surprise um, you know we've seen kind of like every car youtuber like now I feel like has like a, a C8 Corvette and everyone's like, you know, going crazy over the C8 Corvettes. And mind you, they are like super, like, you know, iconic. And we just had, we just have a, we just had a C4 pass up. <laughs> but um, now mind you, the C8s are definitely going to go down as in history as, you know, one of the more iconic Corvettes because they are the first mid-engine Corvette. And that was kind of like, you know a concept that that's kind of been happening since like the 60s i'm pretty sure with corvettes but again like i just i love everything about this specific corvette the fenders are nice and like tall like you can kind of see it and you know it does have the target top so you know on nice days like this like you can just cruise around with you know no top here but again it's not a soft top so you don't have to worry about it getting like cut into or anything like that or leaking or anything like that and it's just it has all these modern day conveniences which brings me to the one thing that i don't really like the owner said he does appreciate it a lot one thing that i don't really like though and again this is just my own personal opinion i don't really like the heads-up display now i've driven a uh, camaro before i'll actually leave a link to that review it's just a camaro rs but even that car does have that the um chevy heads-up display and I'm pretty sure it's kind of like the same system in this car. It could be a little bit more, you know, I guess updated or a little bit more technologically advanced because it's a Corvette. But I just don't really like the idea of something kind of just like right in my face while I'm driving. But that being said, that there, there actually is an option in this car to turn it off, which I do appreciate a lot. Alright guys, that's pretty much just going to wrap up today's episode. Um, it was This was such a fun car to review. Again, I know I've said it like a hundred times in this video, but the C7 is my favorite Corvette. And it was, you know, such a pleasure having this on my channel. So yeah, I mean, if you stuck till the end of this video, definitely be sure to leave a like on the video. It helps out a lot. Uh, make sure to let me know your opinions on this Corvette. Uh, let me know actually which generation corvette is your favorite or if you even like corvettes let me know that down in the comments below share my uh profile share the video with your friends that helps out a lot 
But, yeah, until the next one, see you guys.